Hey guys, so today I thought that I would do another Halloween haul. Um, I've not bought loads of stuff since last time um, and I'm probably not really going to buy much else. So I just thought that I would show you the stuff. Um, some of it is clothing, some of it is from random shops. So um, I'll just kind of tell you where it's from as I go along. So the first place that I went was Poundland. Um, in the last video I went to Poundland before but everything hadn't come out yet. Um, so I got this. Um, it's just like a skull and crossbones pillow, black on the front and white on the back. It's not the best made pillow ever and it has spots where it doesn't have any stuff in at all so it's a bit lumpy. Um, but I just thought I would get it because it was a pound which is super cheap and it's just kind of thrown on my bed as a bit of a decoration under the rest of my pillows. So that is the first thing I got. The next thing I got is this blanket. So this was in the pet section and it's really, really tiny. Um, it's just a black blanket with like little cartoony looking bats on it. Um, this is the size of it. Um, <clears throat> just looks like this. So at the minute this is just kind of like draped over my headboard. But I thought that it was cute for a pound so I picked that up. Um, I also got two more of these, so in the last video I got the little pumpkin one which I think is still my favourite, but I also picked up these two solar little dancy people, so we've got a skeleton and a witch, um, and they like wiggle from side to side. The only issue is with these, they're so loud, so in the morning they're like constantly, so I have to move them, um, but I got both of those. And then the last things that I got from Poundland are these, so these are little like water globes um so we've got a little frankenstein kind of one and then a little haunted house one uh, this one looks like it's on like a dungeony castle sort of base and this one's got rest in peace gravestones with a little skull um, and they do have black glitter in them so i thought they were really really cute for a pound the only issue that i'd have with these is the water inside them you can't see on camera but the water inside them's a little bit misty i don't know if that's because some of the color from the glitter has kind of melted into the water um but for a pound they were really really cute so i picked those up so the next place i went was build a bear and i picked up this little zombie bear i did originally go to get the um the new pumpkin one for this year but he was kind of like metallic well like shiny looking and his fur was really really scratchy so i ended up getting this one because it was a lot softer this is last year's one and it was like a pound off in the sale or whatever so it ended up being 15 pound but i thought that he was really cute with his little ear chunk missing and one eye and everything so i got him <clears throat> um then i got these from aldi so this was the only thing i ended up getting from aldi and it's these little balls um so they're black on the outside, they have like a white bottom but I suppose you'll never see that. Um, and there's an orange one, a green one and a purple one and it's just like a cobweb design with a little spider in there. Um, they're pretty small bowls so it's not like you could really like eat soup or cereal or whatever out of them. But I suppose for snacks or like <clears throat> ice cream or something like that they're an okay size. Um, so then I went to Sainsbury's and I got a few things. So the first thing I got was this. It has tea in it at the minute so I can't really move it around that much. But it's a little pumpkin mug. Um, it's not that big but it's an okay size. It doesn't have a face on the other side. It just has it on one side. Um, and this had the best marshmallows I've ever eaten inside it when it like came new. Um, so yeah, that was that. I think that was about £6 from Sainsbury's. I also got this which is a little bat teddy so he looks like this and he's got a little velcro dot here and his wings open out and then he's like a little I don't know shocked looking bat instead um, he does have a string on him so you can hang him upside down if you want to and I just thought that he was really really cute I love bats so if I see a bat teddy I'm gonna end up buying it Um, this was I think five or six pounds one of them I'm not sure but I couldn't resist because he was super super cute and I like that he like can hide as well I think that's really sweet um, and then the last things I got were these so these aren't necessarily for Halloween for me but I got these little tiny baubles so there's six in here there's orange glittery ones with, like black pumpkin faces and there's black plain ones with white sparkly cobwebs on them um, I'm not gonna lie I have absolutely no idea how much these ended up being I think maybe like three or four pounds for these um, but I just thought that they would look really cute on my Christmas tree because they only have a little mini one. And then I also got these which are called Mesmerising Battery Decorations. 
so in here you get I'm not sure how many you get let's see so you get six of these little velvety bats on um, an elastic look like this so again I bought these to hang on a tree but I suppose you could also use them for this stuff because this elastic kind of pulls out if you want it to so you could use it as like a little necklace or you could make some little hair clips or something um so yeah they were really really cute as well so the six of those and again I think they were like four pounds or something maybe three pound the next place I went to was Morrison's so in there they do these which are a pound each or three for two pounds so this is like a little sticker set and um, you get these like 3D puffy skeleton kind of ones and then these holographic ones um, I just got these because I've got a planner so I do use normal stickers sometimes I don't really think I'll use these puffy ones but these ones were really cute I liked this little mummy down here and this little ghost pumpkin one um, and then also in the three for two thing I got this so it's just like a little plastic cup with ghosts and bats and spiders on um, and I got these which are called full Halloween stamps and in here you get um, this one which is like a little skull and crossbones and it's purple you get a little black cat one which is black you get a little pumpkin who is orange and you get this one that says I heart vampires and again that one is purple so all of those came to two pounds for the cup the stamps and the stickers and then I got this which I think is probably my favorite thing that I've bought this Halloween and it is this little doll let's move this so she's super creepy I love her She's called Animated Deathly Doll and she was £10. Um, she's got this little push button on her hand which I don't really like that it's sewn on there in fabric. I would rather have not had that on there. Um, but she's got like little bows in her hair and a creepy face and little squishy feet and hands. And then she has an on off button on the bottom. So this is really loud. Um, I will show you what it does though just in case anyone wants to see. But... Um, yeah just be warned it's pretty loud and she does move as well but whether you'll be able to tell that on camera or not i'm not too sure so here we go so yeah that is the creepy doll um and i think she's my favorite like i said because i don't know she's just really cute but really creepy at the same time so i'll sit her over here Um, so the next place I went to was Primark. Primark literally had nothing at all. Um, I ended up buying this bag and it wasn't even like the Halloween section or anything. It's just because it was villain themed that I ended up buying it. So it's just like a little canvas bag. It's got Ursula on it. It was £2. No idea what I'm going to put in there but I just bought it because it was villains. Um, and then I got this little tote bag. So this was £1 and it's just got little ghosts and pumpkins but that was like literally all they had they just had another t-shirt that said like twerk or treat on it or something and some kids stuff but not really anything that i could buy so that was that from primark um the next things i've got are these tiny little ty halloween things um i just got these in a random shop in manchester it was like a bookshop or something um, and they were one pound fifty each so we've got this little guy who's like a little skeleton bat um, and they do have little hangers on the top if you needed them to hang on something and then I've got this one that's like a little pumpkin ghost I think this one's really really cute um, so they were £1.50 each and I just got them because they look cute not really having anywhere to put them and then all the last stuff that I've got is clothing so this is all from Boohoo um, I did also get a few other bits which I ended up taking back or well, sending back should I say um, just because they were really badly sized um but this stuff's okay so first thing i got is this so this is called the sasha mesh bat print bodycon dress 
it looks like this it's just got long sleeves and like a bat print on it uh, the bats are velvety kind of feeling um, on the inside it's actually really smooth I do have another one which is super scratchy but yeah so that's what this one looks like it's just like a short little bodycon dress um, this was £12 I believe The next thing we've got is this, which is Jessica Metallic Skeleton Hands Crop. So it just looks like this, little cropped up with like silver skeleton hands on there. Um, I can't remember how much this was, maybe four, five, six pounds, something like that. Then we've got these, which are called the Halloween Maria cobweb print leggings they look like this um i wore these once and when i first put them on they fit and then by the time i got home they were massive on me so the material is not the best um if you're gonna buy these i would probably size down a little bit um what they made out of I don't know they were just they're not very like they're very stretchy but that's kind of the problem because once they've stretched out they don't go back how they were before so um, they're okay but yeah that's those <coughs> uh, the next thing I got is this which is called the Halloween Gianna ghost print mini skirt so it looks like this it's just a black skirt with like little cartoony ghosts on it um, again, this is like a high-waisted skirt. I wore this one time and the hemming on the bottom is already broken and coming out um, So these items aren't exactly like really good quality, but they are pretty cheap I think this was like six pound or five pound or something So I mean if you're gonna just wear them for like the Halloween time, it's okay But if you're gonna want to wear them all year round, they're not the best quality So just kind of be warned of that um, But yeah, that's this Um, so the next thing I got is this, which is called the Megan Mesh Cobweb Print Bodysuit. So looks like this, and it has cobwebs all over it. Um, so I bought the dress version of this first in a size 8, and it arrived, and it was literally the biggest dress I've ever worn in my life. It was like, it was like humongous on me so I had to send that back um, and I ended up buying this in a six thinking that the eight was too big so the six in this will be fine but this is actually really tiny um, I do fit into it but it's a bit of a stretch so I ended up buying another one so this is the bodysuit so because neither of those really fit me very well I ended up buying this so this is like from the brand Boohoo um, but it actually came from ASOS or ASOS whatever you want to call it um, it's just like the crop top version with long sleeves um, again it still has the same like cobweb print on there and this actually looks really cute on her like this um, so so just in case you're wondering like if any of this other stuff from Boohoo sells out you could always check on um, ASOS and see if they have the stuff in because they also sell it Um, so yeah, that was all the stuff that I got. I think um, I don't think I'm gonna buy any more stuff hopefully because I am absolutely skint um, So hopefully the next video I do will be like around Halloween time I'm gonna try and do the zombie cookies video um, Of me making them and decorating them and stuff because someone asked if I would do that The only issue is that downstairs the kitchen is really really small So I'm gonna have to do it in my bedroom. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do that um, but if I can, then I will try my best. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, then please subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye.